Early on, I did a video comparing dumbbells to a total gym or slotting bench trainer. And in some ways, that video is ultimately just kind of comparing the total gym to just free weights in general. And the overall point of that video was that, and then I continue to kind of state in this channel, is that I felt for 99% plus of people's goals that a total gym or slotting bench trainer really excels in all those fronts uh, for being an effective, versatile, and just really efficient way to do some form of resistance training in your home specifically. And so a lot of you guys know in a recent video I actually picked up a pair of uh, 45 pound weight plates and I've had a lot in the past and bought and sold them and wish I actually never did get rid of them because the price went up. Uh, but since I've kind of used those in a few videos, I thought it'd be worthwhile to actually go in my garage. I dusted off my old barbell that I had because uh, like I said, I used to have a whole sort of different like setups like um, barbell setups in my house for Olympic lifting and even powerlifting in the past. And so I thought I'd kind of do the same kind of comparison I do with dumbbells with barbells because I'd venture to say that in the world of not just uh, definitely home fitness training or resistance training, but also just the resistance training world in general, that really the barbell is considered like the upper echelon of the best form of resistance training. So in this video, I really thought it'd be worthwhile to cover the pros and cons of barbell training uh, within, again, the context of home fitness training. And I'd say even in the context of improving body composition, because I'm not going to say, yeah, if you want to bench squat and deadlift or you want to do Olympic lifting, yeah, you're going to need barbell training. But in the context of home fitness training, uh, the context of improving lean body mass, um, I'm going to compare that to a total gym or sauna bench trainer. So that's the crux of what I'll get into in this video. If you guys do find this video helpful, it's always grateful, if, or I'm always grateful if you guys do like and or subscribe. Uh, and definitely share the video with anyone you think who might find this video beneficial. Now what you're seeing here is just some workout footage I did primarily for this video, but it was good to specifically incorporate uh, some barbell squatting again with some plates. Uh, I really honestly wasn't used to doing that, especially that eccentric load, while the weight actually felt kind of easy on the concentric coming up. Uh, on that first day when I was doing like barbell squatting, I really could literally feel like the eccentric kind of ripping in my little muscle of my muscle fibers, uh, and I felt pretty sore the day after. The second time I did it though, I was feeling fine, but point was it's definitely something I was neglecting. I've been neglecting some leg training. Um, my point of all just saying this, if there was another barbell exercise that I would definitely recommend, that would be a great thing to kind of incorporate into your total gym training or, or uh, sliding bench trainer training. Uh, and if you do have access to a barbell or a rack or some plates, um, I mean, a bar, you know, like a barbell, like I said, uh, if you're interested, I actually can link, the, link them down below the ones that I use. Cause I think they are like, it is the cheapest setup. If you're interested in picking up something like that, um, that would be one exercise I would incorporate. Not that you can't get away with just doing some squatting in general. Uh, but basically the background here is just me just doing some mess around with some core foundational barbell lifts that I haven't done in some time. And I have to state some things right up front so my points don't get confused here because saying that a sliding bench trainer is superior to barbell training is something that I'm sure is gonna be a controversial statement and many people are just yelling at their computers with even the idea that I even make such an argument. But I've gotta say up front, you know, I just like I said with, bar, with the dumbbell video, um, I love barbells. I've done a, many different types of uh, specialized like training from in conferences and seminars and a variety of different things from like powerlifting type stuff, um, Olympic lifting. Um, end of 2019, I went to a seminar which most people consider like the guru of barbell training. You guys probably know who I'm talking about. Uh, so I love getting trained and I still train people in barbell training, a variety of exercises in that. Uh, that definitely not saying it's not a good form of training or a great or a great valid option. Uh, I'm just trying to again making this comparison to a, a sliding bench or a total gym. Now this first point I'm going to kind of lay out to you guys is something that bears repeating, but it lays the foundation for everything I'm getting into. Uh, and a lot of you guys might be new to this channel, or maybe this is the first video you've kind of stumbled across on one of my channels. Um, from talking to a number of different people, all different walks of life, training all different types of people, whenever I hear people say they want to start doing some form of resistance training, yes, they might say things like they want to get stronger, but I said this in the start of the video, for 99 plus percent of people's goals of what they're looking for, generally it's improving body composition, um, improving lean body mass, however you want to describe that. Um, yes, they'll say they want to get stronger, but usually that always takes a backseat to what they're visually seeing in the mirror. And definitely just as important as how they're actually feeling. Is it improving their quality of life? Um, do they feel kind of functionally stronger throughout the day? Does this just basic life activities feel a little bit easier? And for sure, a barbell can do that too. I'm not saying it doesn't, but my main argument is gonna say is gonna be which one does it a little more efficiently and effectively. Um, and I'd argue some other points down below are gonna kind of build upon this. But what I'm saying is that a total gym or Saudi men's trainer definitely uh, in my opinion, hits on all those cylinders that most people are looking for when they pick up 
um, are looking for some form of effective resistance training. So the next point that kind of goes along with why I'm making these arguments initially, uh, compared to barbells, I would say that a total gym or Saudi bench trainer is easier and just more efficient to operate and get into using. Uh, barbells, while they are great, tried and true, uh, definitely requires some level of skill and or instruction to truly reap these benefits. I'm not saying that's an excuse to avoid them by any stretch of the means, but especially for people as they get older, they have less time, they have more kind of nagging joint injuries. A sliding bench trainer requires much less skill, is extremely easy and much more forgiving on the body. And I can't tell you how many people comment on this channel or I get emails from uh, tell me their story. Not just even, I could talk even outside of the sliding bench trainer stuff because I have people told me this even before I was getting into this, my own little observations. A lot of ex power lifters, Olympic lifters, uh, that just say they've had to adjust their training over the years that if you're tracing strength and tracing these numbers Even people that I go to like the, again these seminars and people that are like um, You know veterans of the uh, strength training world They have a limp to them. They just reek of Bengay and they're talking about all their injuries and stuff They did differently, but the point is I get some people on this channel that say if they can go back in time they would have started training with a total gym a long time ago. And don't get me wrong, when you guys watch this channel, I've had a lot of people, this is why I have this channel too, is to help you guys navigate using the machine because a lot of people do see the machine and they, it is very easy and isn't the most um, intuitive thing to kind of start picking up and using, um, but it's a lot less forgiving, more forgiving if you make a mistake on a total gym than if you make a mistake using, like you're doing, you're doing some heavy uh, back squats or you start dabbling in Olympic lifting. Uh, again, I'm not making that as an excuse to avoid those things my point is the level of entry is a lot easier on a total gym or sliding bench trainer now barbells bar none are probably considered a gold standard about just getting strong if, you, if your goal is to build raw strength barbells are up there as touted as like the best way to get strong as far as efficiently and effectively by adding progressive overload to this to this barbell you can generally kind of increase your strength over time and i'm not going to argue the fact that you definitely can't effectively increase your bench and squat. If that was your goal, then yeah, I would say I would point you to a barbell to be using that. But I can tell you, even after jumping back into some of these exercises that you guys are seeing here, granted I'm only playing around 135, they really feel just as they did when I was initially doing heavy barbell training before. Just by telling you how, how each exercise feels and how I'm picking up the barbell, for sure I know I lost some raw strength in my squatting and probably deadlifting and benching, but I can tell you right now, the, the motor memory at least is still there, so that might be, have something to say for it, but just kind of playing with the playing with the barbell, um, I feel just as functionally strong as I used to, and I can tell you right away that a, that a total gym or bench trainer, after all the, going on close to two years using it, I would have noticed a big deficit in strength and from what I've been hearing people claim that a total gym is totally ineffective and doesn't build any strength whatsoever doing all this high repetition training, which really isn't that high rep because honestly the average is like 10 to 12 repetitions. Um, if I was kind of losing strength or it couldn't get you strong, uh, one, I visually, I don't think I'd seize with muscle definition. That's one thing, but also secondarily, um, other stuff that I'm doing just still feels just as good as it did before. Now, another point of comparison, if you're looking to invest in picking up some barbells, which maybe this might not necessarily apply to you if you're maybe going to be going to the gym, but I would say the beauty of all this stuff, if you can have two things that are equally great, one's the gym, one you can do in your home, um, and the second point's following, I'll even support that, but I would say, you know, if you can get the one that you can do in your home and it's better, why not do that? But aside from that being said, if you're looking to invest in a some efficient resistance training equipment and you're considering barbell training versus a sliding bench trainer, there's no question that a sliding bench trainer is going to be cheaper cost of entry. Uh, but like I've said many times, regardless of what machine you're doing, I wouldn't invest even in a sliding bench trainer or total gym if you're somewhat committed to just using the machine. Uh, because really, we can I say it's a lot, we can already be kind of pessimistic that if you have a history of not working out or starting and stopping, odds are you're probably going to stop again. I'm just saying we got to figure that out initially of kind of what's going to try to break that habit. But if you're going to try, if that, if that may happen or a possibility of happening, if you're going to invest a lot of money in getting set up for like a barbell, like uh, which I've done in the past, so I'm guilty of buying and selling these things. Um, a decent squat rack that's you know be worth your time and investment if you're going to be serious about it. It's going to be at least five hundred to eight hundred dollars initially. Decent barbells might two hundred dollars. Um, I'm already telling you, if I have decent plates right now, but like a forty-five pound plate is going for even at like cost. What a local person told me, like just for cost of buying it is like at their baseline cost was roughly like seventy dollars. So. 
Um, that was comparable to what I found online, but the point is you're going to put a lot of money into that whole setup. So you really want to make sure you're using it. And for a total gym, um, you really, you're not investing that much. They last a long time. And especially with the total gym, that company specifically, you can always return it if you don't like it. So that's another kind of added bonus to that. Now, this next point might seem controversial, but I would argue that a total gym or Saudi mesh trainer is actually more versatile in the variety of exercises and things you can, ways you can degress and progress uh, than a setup with barbells. Um, the beauty, yes, of barbells is that if you have if you got have a decent setup, all the weights and the, the rack is all set up and everything, you can work your whole body very effectively and efficiently from your shoulders, back, arms, legs, core musculature, uh, and you can do so in a very effective way because all these things are multi joint compound exercises. So if you're doing like a bent over row, um, you're working a lot of stabilizers and iso some muscles are working isometric just to kind of get into that into that position. So no question that once you kind of got it dialed down. Uh, some of these exercises, you can definitely work your whole body and just, you know, with one piece or one setup of equipment, which is definitely awesome. But in my opinion, a total gym definitely blows the variety of exercises out of the water from not just the compound multi-joint stuff you can do, but also the isolating exercises you can do. And most importantly, I'd say it offers a lot more variety or sorry, more options to actually degress or progress these exercises, like I said. So I know people that are even college students that have a hard time just pressing an empty barb. And yes, you can start with a stick and imagine if you're an older person or let's say, my, my point is you're gonna be lacking, you're gonna not, not gonna have a whole lot of options to you if, if you have a limited range of motion, limited strength to kind of go with. With a total gym, yes, you could be limited if you have some injuries or something like that here and there, but we can find some other form of exercise, some other angle, or some other incline to actually degress you. And conversely, if you're really good at something and you have high levels of strength, we can progress you to a number of different things. And again, also work some of those stabilizers and other muscles working isometrically in a lot of variety of unique positions as well. And I'm also just reminded of this too, as I'm kind of messing around with my barbells, there's only so many things you really can do. A lot of great exercise, no question, but not nearly as much variety. And I've heard people say that before with a total gym, that like there's not a whole lot of variety. Uh, there's no question. I mean, if you compare it on paper, a number of back exercises to chest exercises, even leg exercises, you would find a higher number of these exercises in one of these sliding bench trainers. Now the next point is kind of like a tag along to the previous one, because aside from being more versatile, I would argue it's just way more fun and just engaging or interesting using a sliding bench trainer than a setup of dumbbells or barbells, I should say. Uh, throughout the years, I've had many stints of barbell related focus training from like either power lifting or you just say like, you know, strength training in general where I'm doing like progressive, uh, progressive overload, trying to up, up my strength and like my press, bench, deadlift, uh, squat. And I've had that same kind of um, focus with Olympic lifting, a lot of stints with Olympic lifting as well. And, and while it's fun chasing these numbers and dialing in the form, after a while, I'll be honest, and again, this is just for me personally, but I've seen this with a lot of people as they kind of come into like a strength training kick, they always fall out of it um, as far as with barbells is concerned. It just gets kind of boring, kind of like a grind. There's nothing wrong with a grind and chasing, you know, goals and pushing yourself to certain limits, but... Um, I've been using the total gym or sliding bench training for you know close to two years now and with compared to any other form of resistance training or type of training modality that I've kind of focused in on, I've yet to been bored yet to have been bored with this type of training um, and yet to have any kind of need of even wanting to like go back to the gym, which I thought definitely would never happen. And I think a big part of this of why it's kind of so fun and interesting is mostly because a lot of the points I've already addressed. Um, you know definitely are there some days that when I come home do I not feel like working out? Sure, there are, definitely, uh, but the beauty of this machine is it's, it's extremely inviting. It's almost, I kind of dare say, like relaxing. Even though I might have a really good workout and muscles are getting like fatigued and I'm out of breath, it really doesn't even feel like you're really working out. For me, if like I go downstairs, if I'm not even moved to work out, I just kind of, and generally this is what my general setup is, I'll go downstairs, put something on the computer, I'm listening to it, uh, and just start going to town on the machine. All of a sudden, 20 to 30 minutes goes by, I feel like I got a really effective, efficient workout. Versus barbells training in the past, I had to like literally mentally prepare myself for like this grueling workout. And I'm definitely not saying you don't have to really give yourself these like grueling hard workouts with a barbell, it's just you don't have to chase numbers. Uh, and do all these things, but it gets to be somewhat monotonous. Again, the way I said previous point, you don't have as much variety. You're kind of doing the same things over and over and over again. And while you are doing some similar kind of tried and true exercise in a total gym, I just find these exercises to just be a lot more fun when you're kind of doing this. The fact that you can, if you're done with that exercise, you can quickly transition into something else versus stopping, taking off the weights, putting something else on. 
And this is just a theme I'm trying to get across this channel in general and why I think the Total Gym really shines is that you don't your workouts don't have to be these grueling, hard workout sessions to get the results that you want. So these were just some of my main points that come to mind comparing barbell training to a Total Gym or Sliding Bench trainer. I know some people, especially if you just stumbled across this video, um, you'll call me crazy and uh, maybe just think I'm way off for even making such a comparison. Uh, that's fine, but all I'm really saying is really just don't knock it until you try it. Uh, I can't attest to everyone's results or situations or goals, uh, but for me personally, I really see nothing but good things when I compare you know, the majority of my adult life going to the gym, using free weights and machines. I don't see any reason to really go back to these things when I'm having such enjoyable workouts, I'm having less aches and pains, uh, I'm visually just seeing the results of how my body has changed for the better, um, or at the very least you could say some parts didn't really change at all. So if I'm having these better, more efficient, more versatile, more effective, more fun workouts, why would I go back to anything differently? So I know a lot of you guys still go to the gym and use other stuff. I think that's still awesome. Obviously, if you can combine the best of these worlds, that's also obviously great. Uh, I'm interested to kind of hear your guys' take on the matter, so definitely let me know down below. Uh, any questions, comments, feedback about this matter, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.